Hello again, my name is Muhammad Dwayd and this is Motionology. Some people say that expressions are not really important because we do have keyframes and the things that we can do with expressions we can do with keyframes and vice versa. And this is completely true. But there are some cases that you shouldn't be using uh, regular keyframes because it's going to cost you a lot of time and you should rather use expressions because expressions will save you a very huge amount of time. And this clock animation, especially the second hand animation, is a great example of that. So let's see how I did this very cool animation with this wobble effect uh, using just one single line of code. So you do have this rotation property which you can animate using an expression and to do that you should select this rotation property and go to animation add expression or you can use this very cool shortcut alt shift equal sign or you can just use the old-fashioned way hold alt on your keyboard and then just click on the stopwatch of the rotation property so let's do that now we do have this expression field uh, available for us to write some code so let's just write the word time for for now and what time is going to do is going to read out the values from the timeline as you go through it so let's click outside and let's see so we do have uh this uh second hand animation driven by this uh, expression to do this animation but it's going very slow because we do have one minute and if I scroll up to the end of the timeline it should do a full uh, rotation but it's not doing that because as you can notice if we move one second it's gonna move just one degree and we don't want it to do it like that because it's supposed to be moving a little bit faster so uh, 360 divided by 60 is going to equal 6 so we want it to move 6 degrees every second so let's multiply this time by 6 all right now if we scroll up through the timeline we're going to notice that is doing full rotation all right the second problem that we're going to deal with is this smooth animation now and we don't want that we want it to have this kind of snappy animation which we see approximately in every clock in our lives you know except a few but the reason why it's going so smooth because this time factor is going through the numbers and the decimal numbers so it's going from 1 and then 1.1 1.2 1 1.3 so we do have this uh, smooth animation but we want it to jump straight ahead from 1 to 2 without going through these decimal numbers so there's a function that will help us achieve that and that function is uh, math and dot round now let's open a parenthesis and go to the end of the word time and close that parenthesis we're going to multiply the whole thing by six so now let's let's see okay we're halfway there the next thing that we're going to deal with is this uh cool wobble effect that we can see in this example and you can see it in the graph editor how it goes it's very cool very efficient and if you try to m do it with keyframes it's not going to be this good so uh, you're going to have to do it with expressions because it's more intuitive so to do this or to have this wobble effect achieved we're going to use a couple of functions the sine function and the exponential function so let's talk about the first function which is the sine function i do have a, a separate uh, composition here called sine function and let's try this sine function and see what it does so let's hit alt uh, and our keyboard and uh, hit the stopwatch on the rotation property of the second hand and let's just add the sine function which is math uppercase m dot sign let's open a parenthesis time 
close that parenthesis and let's see what it does. So if we go through this timeline, we're going to see that we do have this very slow animation, which is going back and forth. Now, if we just go to the graph editor and see this line that has been created using this function, if you look it up, uh, the sine function, you're going to find out that it's one of the trigonometric function which will give us this sine wave kind of animation but the only problem now is that is going very very slow and if you just check on this uh, rotation because we do have this option check show expression editor so we can now multiply this time factor by let's say uh, 50 so now it's going a lot faster and that's exactly what we want and now this animation is going from the beginning of the timeline till the end of the timeline and we don't want it like that we want it to gradually fade away so we're going to use another function to achieve that but before that you can notice that this second hand is going through a uh, uh, a very small range of numbers which is 1 and minus 1 so if we just delete this and go back to the slow animation we're gonna notice that it's a value going from 1 to minus 1 and then go back to 1 and then minus 1 and so on and so forth but if we wanted to you know go a lot beyond that uh, we're gonna have to multiply this by 50 as we did and then multiply the whole thing by let's say you know 20 and now let's see how's that gonna work so it's going now 20 degrees instead of one degree all right so uh, 20 is very huge so let's say five now now we do have this wobble effect the only problem now is that this animation is going from the beginning of the timeline till the end of the timeline and we don't want that we want it to gradually fade away and for that we're going to use another function called the exponential function so let's test this exponential function and see what it does so let's hit alt on our keyboard on the stopwatch and then let's write this function math uppercase m and uh, exp and then open parenthesis time and then close that parenthesis and now the math exponential time will keep increasing this rotation value through time by multiplying a certain number and if you look it up in the internet the exponential function is just a number it's going to be multiplied by itself many times and that number is something around 2.7 so 0.7 is going to be multiplied by itself uh, in this case every second so now if we go through a through this uh, uh, timeline we're going to notice that this animation is increasing very slowly and then it's going to go faster as long as we you know move through the timeline so let's see this in action so let's hit zero our keyboard so it's going very slow it's going to get a lot faster so by the time we reach for instance the 50 seconds we can see that we do have some crazy number of rotations now if we can go to the graph editor we can see that we do have this uh, this very very increased value in here you're gonna see this crazy number right here because it's gonna be increasing over time so this is a great function to be used to make the sine function actually fade away so let's do that so let's divide this math sine function by this other function which is the math dot e xp time 
And now if we can click anywhere else, we can see that this animation is fading away. So it's taken so much time so we can, uh, you know, just take this time and multiply it by, for, for instance, three. Now we have achieved this uh, really cool uh, wobble effect. Cool. So let's uh, take this uh, thing and just copy, control C, and then go back to our main animation and just let's add this to the previous uh, line of code. So let's say add and control V to paste it. So now we still have one slight problem. This animation is uh, happening only once at the very first second and we want it to happen every second. So the way to do that is to subtract the math rounded time from this time. So let's do that. So we're going to open a parenthesis before the word time because we're going to multiply the whole thing by three. And then let's see uh, time minus math dot round for time. And then let's close the parenthesis after the time. And now you can see that this wobble effect has been repeated over and over again every second. So let's test this. So now it's going five degrees back and forth. And uh, this is uh, this is too much, but we can uh, go ahead and uh, decrease that to maybe point eight and now let's see how it goes now it's it's just going fine let's turn on this uh, motion blur so we can have this really cool animation so it's going to be very difficult for you to achieve the same result using just keyframes and it's not going to be that good no matter how many times you try if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and maybe subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.